The long sword is based on the air tractor AT-802. It starts life as a crop duster and then we add to it uh, an ISR capability and a weapons capability. The uh, sensor is an MX-15, it's a, an L3 product uh, and it's controlled by another L3 product, the Force X Widow system. Uh, and that's normally controlled from the back seat, uh, the, the rear cockpit. Uh, you can fly the airplane from either the front or the back uh, cockpit, but the normal configuration is that the pilot and the weapons release is done from the front cockpit and the uh, ISR mission is done from the rear. The airplane comes in two basic configurations. For uh, ISR, it's equipped with the MX-15 and with data links off board. And that's the kind of thing you would use for uh, border surveillance, maritime surveillance, any place where you needed a long dwell persistent capability. We also ha are developing a, an armed version, which you see behind me here, uh, which can drop uh, guided bombs, unguided bombs, guided rockets, unguided rockets, can be equipped with machine guns, and can also be equipped with a Hellfire. Uh, the Mideast, North Africa, a little bit of South Asia uh, are, are areas that have expressed interest, but really anybody that's got a long border to surveil or has a, a requirement for persistent surveillance. The Air Tractor is our exclusive partner for this. The two companies have been working together now for about four years, uh, and it's a total cooperative partnership. Both sides are investing R&D. Both sides continue to work together outside of the contracts uh, to further the capability. Uh, right now, we're preparing an air, the airplane for participation in an Air Force evaluation of light strike capabilities later this year, and that's a total cooperation between the two companies. The aircraft uh, has a basic type certification from the FAA. In the ISR configuration, we added to a supplemental type certificate, which let the airplane uh, employ the sensor, the MX-15, and increase the altitude uh, to 22,500 feet by adding an oxygen system. Since then, L3 has invested and put a glass cockpit in the aircraft, so modern avionics, uh, and that we received the STC for that in April of 2017. Uh, and we are in process to add a new autopilot uh, to the airplane. That STC will be complete in about 60 days. Both the autopilot and the glass cockpit are on this aircraft, which flew from Texas to the Paris Air Show. There is a day-night capability uh, th that's uh, available on the plane. Obviously, the sensor itself will work day-night because of the IR capability on the MX-15, and we do have the ability to uh, provide uh, night vision capability if required. Uh, currently, the, the ISAR capability is an MX-15. We can add to that uh, a different type of MX ball, a different uh, uh, capability, sensor capability altogether. If we wanted, uh, if a customer wanted, we could add a synthetic aperture radar, for example, or, or some other kind of sensor. With respect to weapons, that is particular to each customer, and because weapons are controlled under ITAR, uh, we have to go through a very rigorous process to be sure that we sell the weapons that a customer is authorized to have and, uh, and which are specific to his mission.